Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Beaker here, doing some Town Hall 9 farming today. So today we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to be looking for Dark Elixir, but we're not going to use our heroes. As you can see, Arch Queen, she's upgrading anyway, so we can't use her. And we have the Barb King, but I'm just not going to use him today. I'm going to kind of challenge myself to get Dark Elixir with no heroes at all. And I think that's important because pretty soon we're going to be upgrading the heroes all the time. The upgrades they start to get seven days each pretty soon. So I'm just not going to have them. So uh, we're going to just try to see what we can get. Even if we have to take easy raids, that's okay. We're going to do it. So one of the main tips I have for you guys, if you're raiding without heroes and you're trying to get Dark Elixir, request the best troops you can possibly get. In my case, that's wizards. A lot of my clan mates, they will give me wizards, so I'm going to request them. That's going to help a lot. Also, you want to make sure you have a spell, of course. I like to bring heal spells, sometimes a few rage spells as well, but just bring your favorite spell, at least one of them. So guys, I'm going to show you real quick quick uh i'm gonna show you an easy raid that i just did a little while ago for some great dark elixir uh right here so let's check this out as you can see town hall 10 yeah but he's not really super developed town hall 10 and his dark elixir is pretty easy to get it's only like one compartment in and it's on the side so you know there's one inferno covering it but it's a single inferno and single inferno it can't really do that much to giants i mean they take so long to to kill a giant especially 12 of them so you know we're, we're safe in that regard so we're gonna snipe some of this dark elixir in the drills and then we're just gonna go in and we're gonna go nice and steady and slow here we want to snipe some of these heavy buildings that are on the side like the town hall like the clan castle if we just went in the middle we'd get distracted by those buildings so we want to be diligent here so we're gonna take out the barb king here in a moment with some barbs and archers and we're gonna use a lot of them because after they kill the Barb King, they're going to clear some of these buildings, like I was saying. And that's going to help us a lot. After we're ready, we're just going to drop in the Giants and let them do their work. Let them, let them do their job. What Giants do best is bunch up in a heal spell and just rack defenses. You know, Giants also, they, they distract, they tank for your other troops. But they kill defenses pretty well on their own. So we're going to let them go ahead. We're going to save the rest of our troops. Slowly dropping them in just to help out. But mostly the giants are doing the work here. As you can see, they're clearing out this whole compartment. Time for some wall breakers. Once you, uh, once you get that compartment open, you want to throw in the wall breakers. And then the rest of the troops. Voila, there you go. Taking them out with barbs, archers, and goblins. That's what we want to do. As you can see, you know, the, the single inferno, it's still taking out the giants so don't be scared of single infernos especially the um level one <laughs> variety uh multi infernos yeah they're always a pain against farming armies but uh singles no way so there we go we're trying to take out a little bit more dark elixir here but getting smashed by this mortar level seven mortars man they're they're pretty powerful <laughs> so there we go we got all but 24 dark elixir with you know a pretty simple army and one spell didn't use clan castle troops, didn't use heroes, didn't need them. So there we go, guys. That's what you want to be looking for. I mean, I would have taken this base even if it was only a thousand Dark Elixir because I knew I could get it. It was easy. It was straightforward raids. So that's what I would recommend to you guys. If you don't have heroes, take those easy raids. Get it done. So uh, let's go back to base, see if we have a full army. Looks like we need a few more clan castle troops here. Uh, just a couple. Yeah, guys, uh, as far as getting wizards, which is, I would recommend wizards, um, just ask your clanmates to make them for you. A lot of them will. Uh, seriously. Uh, you know, if you're friends with your clanmates, they'll probably help you out. So if you guys are wondering how I set up my uh, barracks here, this is how I do it. I put about three and three, and then I do, you know, I, I like to have 60 archers total. So I'm going to split that between two barracks. And then I want to have 20 goblins, and the rest is barbs. So I put about 10 here, or you know, 12, 14, whatever. And then just keep filling this until we are full, which is right here. So there we go, guys. Let's go in, try to find a raid. <laughs> okay, guys. Thousand Dark Elixir, not a huge raid, but hey, look at where it is. I mean, boom. Yeah, we're going to take that. So... We also want to get the drills because, you know, there's not a lot of Dark Elixir here. So we want to take it all home with us. Looks like, does he have just one drill? No, he has two. But it really only looks like there's there's Dark Elixir in this one right here. I don't know. Um, 
yeah, I guess we'll go for it. Anytime there's a building on a corner like this, it's pretty easy to get, so we might as well. So, it looks like a dragon in the clan castle. I wouldn't recommend dragons, guys. On defense, uh, they're pretty easy to take out, and, you know, I'll kind of show you here. Um, they're just easy to overwhelm, and they don't really shoot back very much. Uh, they, they technically do good damage, but they're kind of slow. <laughs> so... Uh, easily overwhelmed with a few barbs and archers. The barbs kind of distract and the archers just take them down. And that was only about, you know, 10, 10 or 15 troops. So let's go in here now and take out this drill. We'll put one giant to distract. And then these archers should take it out. Now, this is probably a waste of my time because I don't think there's much Dark Elixir in there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> ooh, kind of a waste of my time. But that's okay. Uh, it's, it's a good habit to just get the drills when you can, you know? And also, we took care of the clan castle, so not a total loss. As far as the rest of this base, I mean, we don't really need to do anything special except just get in there and get that Dark Elixir. So we can snipe all these buildings for free with just a couple of archers. You always want to do that when you can. Just saves some troops, you know? Barb King, what am I going to do with you? Oh, I think I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> I think if I stay over to the left here, I can just ignore that Barb King. So here we go, guys. Let's put in a few troops. I don't want to throw them all down just in case we have some traps in here. And we do. Look at that. You can never trust people to not be trolly with their traps. <laughs> no, I mean, that was, a, that was a good spot for, for a spring trap. Um, we're being terrible with the wall breakers here, but luckily pretty easy raid <laughs> you know and this is what you want guys i'm gonna i'm gonna always stress this to you guys if you can take easy raids do it you know you don't need to be taking huge raids uh you can take a couple of thousand dark elixir raids and be all set you know you uh if you do raids like this they do add up you know that first raid we got that I showed you guys, that was just lucky. It was 2,000 and it was really easy. But normally, you're going to find easy 1,000 raids all the time. Especially in Gold League, a Silver League where I am right now. I find a lot of easy loot, man. A lot of easy Dark Elixir. And, you know, I kind of like it. <laughs> so, let's uh, take out this. See, we had some troops left over there. I'm using them because, um, because of the way I queued up my troops. I, I kind of want to use them so I don't have too many. But, you know... If you find easy raids like this and you save 40, 50 troops, that just means you can raid again even faster. So that's going to be it, guys. Didn't use a clan castle, didn't use spells. I just used, you know, most of our army and got a thousand dark elixir. That's where it's at. So once we have an army ready, let's do one more raid and see if we can find a really good score. All right, guys. Looks like we've got an army. We've got full spells full clan castle of wizards which i love i think we can take a pretty decent base with this uh, let's go see what we can find mm. look at this guys so you know tough base because for one main reason this guy has central dark elixir that makes it tough it's a long ways to get that storage but we can try we can certainly try um i think if, maybe if we use two spells maybe you know Hmm. We, we might as well try it. Um, if I fail, I hope you guys won't be disappointed because this is not a raid I would normally take unless I had, you know, maybe the Arch Queen. But we'll try it. We will definitely try it. So, um, let's see if there's anything in the clan castle. Nope. So, I'm thinking there's some bombs in the core. But I can probably be safe if... I go in from this side because we know there's a Tesla right there. There's no bomb right there. There's a Tesla right there. There's probably some bombs right next to it, but uh, we might get lucky and get that Dark Elixir. And we might totally fail, but you know what? That's life. That's Clash. That's life. <laughs> Let's uh, put a few archers here and there. Take out some of these pesky buildings so they're not in the way. This is the not fun part of the raid where you just wait for buildings to get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. I like preparing the raid. You guys know that. I like preparing, making sure everything is right before we go in. So, hmm, I want to make sure my troops don't spread out too much. So, that's tough though. I guess we're just going to try to keep them in, you know, one pack, kind of. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? All right. Building's taken down. Let's put a few barbs down to check for traps. 
then a few giants and then we're gonna try to hit that oh no wall breakers don't die okay did they get in oh no ah okay tons of wall breakers going in because you know we got plenty <laughs> okay tons of wall breakers going in now we're gonna put a heal down as well we're gonna do a double uh, double spell raid here i kind of like doing that you know heal and rage it's it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy it it looks cool too i must must say so how's our wizards doing our wizards are in there i just hope somebody can shield for our wizards uh, maybe the goblins will get in there. Yes, the goblins are getting in. They're going to shield for... Oh, there goes a bomb. Whoa! Bombs everywhere! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, looks like some wizards are getting into the core. And some goblins came out of nowhere! Yes. We did it, guys. We did it. So, you know, two spell raid. I wouldn't recommend doing that every time because if you use two spells, you're not going to have too many spells for the next raid. But, you know, that was good Dark Elixir. 2,400, I think, uh... And that's basically it. We don't have enough troops to get anything else. But, um, yeah, that was fun. That was, that was a fun raid. I really like using the, the heal rage combo. You know, like I said, I don't use it often because, uh, you know, it's two spells. But it's a really strong combo. You heal your troops and you get them to speed up and do incredible damage. And especially if you have seven wizards in your clan castle, it's pretty unstoppable. So, there we go, guys. Raiding without heroes. Pretty simple if you go for easy bases or if you just prepare really well. You know, if you have Clan Castle Wizards, if you have spells, you can do anything, even without heroes. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you even learned some tips. <laughs> I, uh, I like to tell you guys the little bit I know, and hopefully someday, maybe you'll max your heroes like I did in my first account. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a comment below, let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!